So we are at Amrapali, which is the place you need to come to for jewellery shopping in Jaipur. They have a mix of traditional as well as modern jewellery. And whether you're looking for gold, silver, gemstones, everything. So I'm just going to take you guys through the store and show you the different sections and the different kinds of jewelry you can get here. Wow, that is beautiful. This is a polki set. So what is polki work exactly? Polkis are uncut diamonds, mm -hmm. basically rough diamonds. Amrupali is famous for uh, putting polkis in all the sets. So what would something like this cost? This would be around uh, 12 and a half lakhs. Wow. This is an old uh, Mathapatti, about uh, 80, 90 years old. Wow. So this is for your hair? Like yes, a hair accessory? Yes, oh. yes. So what would something like this cost? This is about 17 years. Wow. And those are the earrings. This is the silver section. This is all silver tribal antique section. This is definitely my favorite section. <laughs> wow, look at those. So are these anklets or bangles? Wow. Oh wow. This is still lighter. I had a older piece. More like shackles than anklets. They're and so heavy. The story what is the this story? Uh, the men used to tell women to wear this so that they don't They couldn't run walk. Out. Oh. <laughs> this is the story behind this one. So if you love a woman, make sure you come here and get her a pair of these. Wow, that is so cool. What work is this? This is on Nina Kari. This is the new collection that you've got, right? Ah, I saw that online. This is Nina Kari. So is this also Rajasthani? Yes, this is Rajasthani, of course. And what are these priced at? These are also anklets or? Yeah, anklets. These are about 17,000. Wow. This is uh, temple jewelry. Just this one piece is about 500 grams. So this is again an old piece mm -hmm. called bangris. Wow. And it just stays like it. this? Oh. Yeah, you're, you're supposed to wear it like yeah. this with two more bangles. Oh wow. That is beautiful. And it's got little spikes on it. Wow. Yes. Wow. That is beautiful. So how much is this worth? This is about uh, 60 lakhs. Woo! Okay, so now is a good time to leave then. <laughs> wow, that is absolutely beautiful. This is one more stunning piece with Rudraksh. Same temple jewelry. Oh wow, so it's a lot lighter than it looks. Yes. It looks really heavy. Yeah, yeah. And something like this would be around 20 lakhs. Wow. Oh, this is the uh, Manish Arora collection. Sorry. Manish Arora is a massive designer. He's absolutely amazing. I love his work. So Amrapali collaborated with him to curate some collections that are absolutely funky and really different from you know the traditional jewelry that you see. Like you saw, there's a lot of fruits here. Each collection has a different influence and it is absolutely amazing. And I'm actually going to look at some of these. Wow. That is pretty cool. I think I'm going to get this. And how much is this one for? It's 2,850. It's cool as well. So I finally bought the Manish Arora cuffs that I was trying and I'm really excited I got these. So if you're in Jaipur, you must come to Amrapali and you must shop here. So we're at Anoki, which is another store that you can't miss in Jaipur. So Anoki has everything right from jewellery to women's wear, men's wear, you know, linen for your house and their stuff is absolutely fantastic. It's authentic, you've got block prints and a lot of Rajasthani influence in their stuff and I'm going to show you guys around. Come on. So you've got some table mats, napkins, 
Now these are traditional Rajasthani razais. You can see there's a whole lineup here as well. Uh, these are really comfy and really cozy. I want to sleep now. And you can just roll them up and take them to any part of the world like this. Cute little pouches. They've got lots of cute little diaries, envelopes, and little gift packing boxes. So I'm gonna browse some more and do some shopping. So when you're in Jaipur, make sure you come here. So when you're in Jaipur or Rajasthan, you can't leave without Ghevar. So Ghevar is the speciality of Jaipur and it's amazing, it's a sweet meat, it's absolutely delicious and every time someone's traveling from Rajasthan, I always ask them to bring it back. You definitely have to come to LMB and pick up something to take home. So uh, the Ghevar lasts up to 8 days, so even if you're traveling internationally or you know to a far off destination in India, you can totally take this back for anybody. So that's what the Ghevar looks like. Yamza! Mmm, that is absolutely yummy. So I'm adding one kilo of the milk cake to that as well. So I've got my ghever and my milk cake and I don't know how I'm going to carry this back on the flight but there is always a way. So that's it from my shopping video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and we will see you soon.